Hey guys, this is Rudra Sumer, and today I have for you a Realm Total War online battle commentary. I played this a long time ago with my friend, Czech Chinese American. So this was, as you can see, a 2v2. We are both playing as Mastodon, and our opponents are playing as Carthage and the Egyptians. So I believe the rules were no rules, so anything went. Me and Czech Chinese American went with regular, like, decent armies for Mastodon. I forget what money it was at. Oh wait, never mind. I guess it was a uh, lower money because I included Phalanx Pikemen because they're cheaper. So here are these Phalanx Pikemen. Sorry for not closing up. But anyway, haven't done a video in a long time, so I just want to do a couple Rome bids tonight. Maybe play a couple battles and um, commentate later. But anyway, let's check out my cavalry contingent. Consists of Macedonian cavalry. One, two. So, three Macedonian Cav and two Companion Cav. I believe my general, he's right there. He's, he uses a sword. His other companions <laughs> use the spear. All right, let's check out my infantry component. As I said earlier, I got some Royal Pikes and some Phalanx Pikemen. Looks like Phalanx Pikemen have uh, smaller shields, so that's probably why their defense is a bit lower. But anywho, that is my army. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention all these archers. I don't mean that they suck, but archers are pretty useful. Alright, so let's check out Czech Chinese Americans army. I'm gonna start playing the battle. So he has a couple archers and four royal pikes as his main infantry component. And he has a ton of cav. He has a ton of companion cav and some light lancers. I guess these are for harassment and dealing with uh, skirmishers that we knew Egypt would be bound to uh, be full of. So let's check out the Carthaginian army. He can he has heavy onagers. I can see they're uh, bombarding my troops right now. These guys aren't really effective because as soon as you get close to the enemy these things are pretty useless. So all you gotta do is run up and uh, try not to clump your dudes together. I might do a bad job. I don't know. I played this a long time ago. But let's check out some of this awesome movement going on. So my dudes are just getting plastered by like chariots and uh, not chariots, but all these bowmen. I think bowmen are better than regular archers. So let's look at this. And it looks like we're arraying our infantry, but he doesn't want to start fighting yet. Because I think he saw that my cavalry was threatening his flank. I think he starts aiming at my um, my cab with his onagers, but these th those things aren't hitting anything. And I have um, a couple pike units as my uh, reserve. I have two royal pikes, and I have my friend Czech Chinese American coming in with some aid. Now I don't know why this is so laggy. My computer is pretty awesome, but I think it's just a problem with the game. I'll figure it out later. Uh, just bear with me for this battle. And over here, we can... See, he's just being bombarded with arrows and everything. So, our opponents definitely have the uh, range advantage. So, we have the cavalry advantage. Assuming that we don't throw our all of our cavalry away at those chariots right there. So, I just sent a unit of royal pikemen uh, to try to take out some bowmen. But these guys route under all that pressure. I don't think they're very heavily upgraded, so that's probably why they just routed like quickly. So check out those chariots. They have a cool blue color. Holy crap. Kind of looks like... I don't know what that looks like. Check out the Nubian spearmen. Whoa! That's racist. Psych. It's not racist. Are Nubians black? I don't know. Anyway, cool looking unit. Jeez. That is freaking awesome. Alright. So, pretty much we're at a standstill right now with Egypt and Czech Chinese American. Meanwhile, I'm trying to engage my enemy sacred band in a fashion that will suit my army better. So right now I'm just trying to make him turn his flank so I can start flanking. Sort of like an echelon type thing. And meanwhile I'm flanking a lot, pretty much. And I charge in some cavalry to you know get in some hammer and anvil charges against a weak unit I saw that this one was weakened so I went for it 
and he's just trying to give chase with his bodyguard. I'm just trying to decimate his infantry as fast as possible. Check Dynasty's American is helping out over here, distracting. And I think he's going to go for the Onagers soon. So let's check out some of this mayhem going on. My phalanx is marching up. This is epic. Cannot wait for Rome 2. Alright. So as you can see, I'm moving up in a sort of echelon formation to um, gain opportunities to outflank with my cavalry, and that's a very good thing to do if you know you have the cav advantage while your enemy has the definite infantry advantage. You want to try to be able to use your cavalry advantage, in, but you'd be able to use it if uh, you singled out units like I'm doing right here. But if you engage all the units at the same time, then it'll just be faster for them to decimate you but you can take them out piecemeal like this <laughs> dudes are flying it's pretty sweet so now thanks to Czech Chinese, Ameri Czech Chinese American we have rid of these annoying onager men they look like peasants pathetic peasants alright I, I can't do an epic voice I apologize for that if your ears just died but check it out, he charged his cab straight into these Nubian spearmen, and even though these are spearmen, they routed. It's pretty legit. So now that we both team worked Carthage to death, we are going to move forwards and attack. Excuse me, we're going to attack Egypt now. So forgive me for not being completely uh, accurate about what's going on in this battle. I played it really long time ago like probably a month or something but anyway check out those chariots they're running away if Egypt uses chariots correctly uh, then we pretty much would have been screwed because these chariots could take out our cavalry pretty easily so it's a nice messy battle going on right now but we've pretty much I think we pretty much won here are some of the Pharaoh's guards. I think this is the best infantry, phalanx infantry that uh, Egypt can wield. Weld, wield, whatever. They look pretty badass. They look like fish for some reason. I don't know why they remind me of fish, but they're badass fish, if anything. <laughs> or gay fish, like Kanye West. Psych. Sorry, Kanye. If you're, if you're watching this, Kanye, I apologize for that joke. <laughs> But, yeah, we pretty much won this battle now that we've won the cavalry advantage. And uh, we pretty much have the numbers advantage right now. So as you can see, I charged my guys in without using phalanx formation. And these dudes routed. But it looks like Carthage still has some sacred band left over that came back from routing. So he's going to try to use them. But at this point, the battle's pretty much over. Let's check out some of the damage the chariots are doing. These dudes are probably being shot with arrows, flaming arrows, from both me and Czech Chinese American, because that's how we deal with chariots. We give them our arrows. We're not very nice people. But I'll just let you enjoy some of this epic mayhem going on. I kind of find it funny that I can record Shogun 2 without lag, but this game lags. <laughs> uh, that's pretty cute. Oh, look at that epic cavalry gonna go in for a hammer and anvil charge or will it not I think our oh he's charging his chariots at our cav holy crud dang look how quickly they chewed up that cavalry that's just crazy so these guys yeah don't don't mess with chariots with your horses horses don't like other horses that are driving chariots and they fight, they're very gruesome with each other. It's not a good combo. Holy crap. That is such a nice mess. So, we're pretty much just wrapping it up right now. We need to get rid of Egypt's archers, and that's what our cav is doing. I think I didn't have much cav left over. So, I was like, you know what? Might as well just send him out on an archer run. Kill some of these shirtless bowmen. Uh, these bowmen are going to die quickly because they're shirtless. So 
they live epically and die quickly. So if you want to live epic, you gotta live shirtless. So... Whoa. That is awesome. Didn't know the camera could do that. <laughs> okay, anyway. Looks like this is just wrapping up the battle. Again, I apologize if this video sucks because I, I haven't commented in a long time. Haven't been watching other videos from like the Prince of Mastodon or Heir of Carthage lately. So I'm a bit out of touch. But yeah, I believe that is the end of the battle. We eventually route the chariots, I think. And yeah, so this is the end of the battle. I'll let you watch the last stand of the Pharaoh's guards. It's pretty anticlimactic right now. What are we doing? All right, let's check out. These guys are getting encircled. This is a victory trip for the gods. A day of triumph to mark with a song or two. All right, so apparently this guy's gonna make a song about it. So uh, these blah, blah blah blah. These are the battle results. Oh yeah, by the way, my name is Shivaji in this battle, and Subadai is Czech Chinese American, and we thank these two guys for being good opponents. So here's the battle results. Hope everyone enjoyed. Have a good day.